Good morning. This is day number four. Four. Day number four. <laughs> nice. Donnie knows exactly what day it is. <laughs> day number four. Uh, pretty mild out. It's like 20 degrees. It's a little chilly in here this morning for for tent weather. It was like 22 degrees in here. I didn't put anything in the fire. It took me a couple hours to get to sleep. It's just so darn warm. I I ain't built for that warmth like that from the from the wood stove, so I'm gonna figure that out. But got my first cup of coffee about drive into me. Breakfast is a little bit different today because I'm gonna go pick up a special guest on the snowmobile, and when I get back, there might be something brewing on the oven. I don't know. Let's hear it from Donnie. Yeah, well, yeah, I got up. Uh, I guess about five thirty, and a friend. That's uh, Joey is going to go pick up with a snow machine in about 10 or 15 minutes is coming in and he requested that I do some donuts. He'd seen one of the old videos that Joe made of us up down on the river trip. So he wants to try my donut. While Joey's going to get him, I'm going to whip up a few donuts. But that kind of reminds me of an older commercial Dunkin' Donuts had. I was laying here in my bunk and thinking and and uh, Joey got up, so I said, oh, I guess I'll get up too. And then I can remember the commercial it was an older guy crawling out of the bed and sleepy eyed in the middle of the night. And he said, oh, I gotta go make the donuts. So that's what I gotta do, go make the donuts. <laughs> so <clears throat> hopefully uh, by the time Joey gets back, why, They'll be uh, be ready, or they will be shortly thereafter. Stay tuned. Well, I'm getting ready to leave. I'm gonna go pick up the special guest. All right. What do you got going on in here? Oh, I'm measuring out my ingredients for the donuts. Beautiful. Got the fat on melting, on low heat. Gotta put this, melt this shortening. Oh, if you want, I could throw another log in there for you. Yeah, I'll probably put one on. Okay. We'll be back, bud. All right. I hope. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> I hate to be stuck in here alone. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Let's get this beast warmed up. Beautiful. What's uh, up, buddy? Not much. Blinded. Is that blinding you? Blinded by the light. I'll turn it a little bit for you. This is our special guest. Say hello to Sean. Good morning. We're gonna go catch some gators. We got a we got a little surprise for you when we get in there. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want a coffee? It's different aboard. You drink coffee? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get you a cup. We, we got a little surprise for you. Oh, is that the, what I think it is? Is this fresh batch? Or are these the ones you ate the other day? <laughs> these are the fresh. These are the freshies. Donnie's been slaving all morning for I'm you. I'm not sure how good these are coming out. Come on in. That one might not be done in the It's not too Holy long. Moly, smell that. What do you think of that, huh? That's nice. Too much light. Well, there they are. Thank Hot off sir. the press. We'll get you a mug. We got a mug here for coffee somewhere. Too hot to eat. No, no, no. Yeah, you can sit on the... Dig into them donuts. Sit on the bed. Oh, we'll get him the chair. Around. I've been... Uh, it was a long ride to get over here. You gotta let the folks at home know what you think of the donut. It's not bad. <laughs> it's edible? Not bad at all. The hype is real. <laughs> <laughs> He could probably sell those. Yeah. In his old age. Start bagging them up, Donnie's donuts. Yeah, right. You put, dust, you put dusters right out of business. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do smelting the other day? We didn't get any limits, but we got a bunch. Yeah. It was, uh, I'd never seen a school like that before. Huh. It was crazy. That was... That was the coolest school I've ever seen. Yeah, so that first picture I sent you, like the first couple, I didn't really do it justice because we spent so much time messing around. Mm -hmm. And then by the time I took a picture, it wasn't really quite like it was at first. But. Really? 
Well, the last few oh, I sent were. Oh, I was going to say. But then first two that I sent, I was like, what do you think these are? Because we figured it was purchase or something. And we're, we're like, we just want to catch one, figure out what these are. And they wouldn't bite anything. Huh. And we, you know, we started with smelt jigs. Yep. Wouldn't bite them. Like, we weren't even looking at it. Huh. And we started throwing bigger stuff at it. and Nothing. And then... That big fish came in, hit Chubbs, whaled him, missed it. Oh my God. And then the school was gone. And then I started panning around trying to find him again. We kept jumping and jumping. And then it was like we got up on that 20 foot hump because at first we started out in like 40 feet of water. And then and then it just got, it was even more. I don't know, probably just because we were shallower maybe and it was showing up better. But ah. And then as it, it got later in the day, they started, they just got ferocious. Nice. But we had, like I was telling you, we got to drop right on the school. And then the school would just kind of move move along. The stragglers, they'd like come check out it, the jig, but they wouldn't hit it. Huh. And then you'd have to pan over and, oh, they went 30 feet that way and drop back on them. And if, as long as you were dropping right in the school, they would just, you'd just watch the whole school coming at the jig. It was oh, crazy. Wow. Yeah. You knew it you was were cool to watch. Oh, it, was, it was inevitable. <laughs> you just start pulling because you knew there was something on it. Yeah, I gotta believe every big brown trout knows exactly where mm. that school of yeah. smelt is at all times. Well, and every once in a while there'd be a, uh, some big fish would come in. They come in in pairs. Oh, okay. Huh. And uh, I guess there's salmon in there too. <laughs> when it was the big school, the, the the bigger fish would come in. The school would just kind of settle to the bottom, and then the fish would like check out our jigs take right off like it's Same amazing with... how fast they are oh yeah and then the, and the school would just come right back out and they didn't care it was like when it was the big school like that they didn't them fish didn't bother them okay. i guess just because safety in numbers or yeah. whatever but if the school had moved on you had some stragglers and then you saw fish come in they would the stragglers would just <laughs> gone oh yeah huh. wow. yeah i forgot about salmon it was pretty cool to see though that's a, so how many smelts are you allowed? Two quart. Two quart? Yeah. Two. Two quart. Oh, two. But look, we were getting a lot of smaller ones, so you could get quite a lot in two quarts. Yeah. Like down Damascata, I mean, they're all so big. You yeah. know, two quarts is like 40 smelts. Yeah. Dig in, Sean. Don't be but shy. you could get a... I mean, them down there, you probably get 100 or more, depending... You know, in the spring, we used to go down in the brooks. This was years and years ago. It's illegal now, but you'd get in the brooks, you'd see a smelt, you know, have a light at night. Right. See a smelt behind the rocks, just stay in there and go down, grab it with your hands. <laughs> and now uh, now you have to use a net from shore. <laughs> but I've heard stories of people just... Oh, my God. It used to be a drunken go, brawl at times. You know, be a lot of... They describe it as like you could walk across the smelts in the brook. Oh well, I'm not sure about that, but you know it was it was uh, it was a lot of fun, you know, grabbing them. My uh, grandfather, they used to go down and get smelts out of China, Ward's Brook, uh -huh. which you got to walk through the woods to get into. And he got caught one night walking out with more than he was supposed to have. Uh oh. He claims that. He was the reason they shut smelting off to China Lake. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and they actually opened it back up a couple years ago. Huh. Me and Chubbs went down to try to find any, but. And you shut it down again? No, nah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty easy. Huh. We didn't see any. Did you guys get checked twice by the game wardens once? And you told yeah. the, you told the game warden you already been checked, <laughs> so he left you alone? The game warden pops out of the woods, checks all our stuff, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, off he goes because they just come out of the woods in like normal clothes like they're right fishermen. right over and we're loading our stuff up about to go you know everything's good we get checked there every year and all of a sudden another one comes in <laughs> let me see your licenses where's your fish let me see are you messing with us <laughs> it's like the guy over there just checked us <laughs> oh okay I'm gonna use that next time we get checked by a game warden. I'm gonna see you messing with us. Yeah. We just got checked five <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah. Let's see if it works. It's worth a try, guys. There was one year we were up there doing that. The guy comes out to check us and he's just talking 
all the normal clothes. And we talked probably five, ten minutes, and then the guy goes, he goes, by the way, we're game ones. <laughs> I said, and that was when Northwoods Law was real popular. He was one of those guys that was on the show. Yeah. I said, yeah, I know. I've seen you on TV. <laughs> you can't hide very easy. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's cool. You played it cool, though. <laughs> years and years ago, we flew into, from Shim Pond into Johnson Pond, which comes down into Allagash Lake because mm -hmm. you can't have any motors on Allagash Lake so they couldn't land plane there. But we we set up a campsite and two guys came in later on that day and you could just tell that they were wardens. Oh, yeah. They they stayed by themselves, they didn't come over and converse or have a beer or whatever. Stayed by themselves, so we, we pegged them right off the bat. It's pretty easy sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But Donnie, it bubbled up, but there's green line. Here, I'll give you a hand. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look it's just like mine. This is what they've been doing for the last three days. Cause yeah. Hit them hard, Donnie. Hit them hard. There's nothing there. Stick we'll it. hit them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding. Ripped right out of the mouth. Is he there? The bait's there. Huh. Yeah, there's something there now. Hit him. <laughs> if he's there, hit him. It felt like something there. Yeah, there is. Pickle? Oh, Holy. Yeah. You're going to have to get caught up and set that hook when you get a chance. Okay, he's oh, still my. there. I didn't realize this was... End up being too much line out here. Holy God! He's got a half mile. Get any size? Yeah, decent, decent. It looked funny. Looked like a pike. Oh, it's getting bigger now. Look at him. Look at him. I don't think he was giant. Not a giant, but he. Oh yeah, there you go. Pop him out. Little hammer handle. Pickle. Little one. Like, <laughs> that is pretty. Uh -huh. look, at, look at the fins on that. I like the tiger stripes. On yeah. The Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Wow. All right, Donnie. All right. Well, you want to recycle this smile, Donnie? Yeah. Okay. We're recycling smiles out here. There he goes. See you later, little gator. Although we were going to keep one. Oh shoot, that's you, right. To fillet it. Oh man, dang it. We've, we've, both of us have never tried it before. They say that's good. Yeah, they say it's excellent. So, shoot, next five to six pounder. Yeah. Sucking her in. There you go. I'd probably hit him. It's your call though. You gonna hit him? Yeah. That's got some half. <laughs> got some size to it? We'll just kind of manage your line. You do. This is a professional here. It's coming at me. That's professional line management. Donnie, if you'd come right over here, Donnie. Okay. Behind them, I can get in there and help out. Still got some size, or is he getting smaller? He's. I I don't normally feel fish like this. I don't know. Yeah. He took some line, Donnie. Yeah, he was, it was really spinning when I first saw it. He's just kind of coming slow. That's usually a big one. Yeah. I got a feeling. I didn't even think I had that little one on for a while. When he gets, there's my. He's marker. at his bottom marker. When, so like when he gets near the hole, you might have to let him run. When he gets a little closer, he's going to probably feel a little different. Oh. oh, yeah. Did you see him? I didn't yeah. see him. You saw him? Yeah. Over five. Keep reeling. I love yep. It. Yeah. Go ahead if you want. This might take him a few tries. Oh yeah. Take your time. We got all the time in the world, but I'm running low on battery. So if you wouldn't mind hurrying. <laughs> 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 Tell me the story. 
Oh, we're at bottom marker again, Donnie. Hey guys, these battery always dies, right? Oh, prime time. Oh, what do we got? Pretty decent fish, huh, Sean? He's a nice one. Oh, oh, what was wow. that? Is he burned in? Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh swivel. First swivel. Look at that. He looks giant. Looks absolutely giant. If you back him up a little, get his head started. It's a good one. Yes, oh yeah. Double digi. All right. Where's his pot? Gid's pot in there. Look how broad he is. Uh, don't catch a gill because they're sharp. But if you get, uh, got you got him. So you're not hitting a gill, right? Nope, I'm good. That is a fat one. Look at his gut. <laughs> lip He's, He's lip hooked. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Good hook set, buddy. Is this, uh, in here? No, that happened. During the big catch. Nice one, Sean. He's your standard 32 incher. Is he really? <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? Let's go around his gut and see how wide his girth. Yeah, 32. Right on time. Wow. 16. Yeah. I guess you don't want to squish him in. Nope. Beautiful. Play the gator. Play the big gator. Oh, nice one. What do you think, buddy? Nice one. Good fight. Not a bad first one for the day. Oh, Beautiful. Good way to start the morning. Keep it going. Line on backwards. <laughs> Look at Donnie's finger from the last pike. Show yeah. him your finger. You got you. Jeez. Got you good. Yeah, took it right off. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's using bait that Donnie would eat. Yeah. If Donnie. Definitely. If Donnie, if Sean leaves his bait bucket too long, Donnie's going to have a little. <laughs> just just little, looking at it. Little feed. His little feed over here, huh, yeah, Donnie? A little feed for lunch. What did you think of that catch? Pretty good? That's not very nice, yeah. Good fight. Jeez, that was good fish. There you go. There we, there crappy. we go. First crappy ever? Uh, first crappy through the ice. Nice. First crappy through the ice. Got this, him. This something pretty. Donnie, you tell us the size. This one's too small for you, no, right? Yeah. What about Sean's? You want that one? A little small. A little small, but you know, can't please them all. You can't please them all, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Keep working on it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Might be. Might be a keeper. That looks pretty good. Might be a keeper, Donnie. Oh. That oh, keeper? Oh, yeah. That's a keeper. All me. right. Donnie's on the board. Oh, you scared That's him a all keeper. Away. It did scare him all away. Maybe we got a pike coming in. I think I'm gonna I'm whack him. him. You wanna whack him? I think I'm gonna whack him. He's gonna hit him, Donnie. There, got him. It's there. Size? It's smaller. 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 Is this the eater we're looking for? Yeah, he didn't go very far, actually. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Burn in. Yes. Can we get it? Yeah. That swivel. Look at that. No! <laughs> what on that big <laughs> snow? Oh my God, we gotta wow. take that home. You one, want? one pound, 15 ounces is a state record. Oh, don't lose my smell. Don't lose the smell. Ah. What is he doing, Donnie? Oh, yeah, what the heck is he he's doing? He's probably right a now? pound. He's probably a pound one. He's probably a pound. Whoa. I don't think you got a state record, Sean, but that's a staven yellow perch. You Highfalutin, know? big old yellow. What's the record? 115. You probably missed it by six ounces again. 0.85, so oh, half. half. About oh. halfway there. Not even yeah. close. Yeah, he's not long enough, but that's a nice yellow. Yeah. Right, right full of spawn. Would you guys eat that if you caught that? Huh? Is that an eater right there? 13 inch. I always threw yellow perch on the ice oh and let the God. eagles eat them, but I have had them and they are good. They're I can delicious. see that swivel's a problem. It could be, but you got another flag up. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, that, we got another problem. Oh, uh, we got other problems. We got other problems. It's way off to the side into the back and really? you're into the third color. The third color? This is the one we were just at, right? Yeah. This is a so I think you want to be on this side over here, Donnie, because it's 
the lines that way hard. And I would feel for them and hit them. Is that still ice down? Oh, I don't feel a thing. Nothing? Don't feel it? Nothing. Yes? You feel it now? I feel, yeah. I feel it now. Perch? Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. But I usually just give them a little tension on the side of that reel so it doesn't wrap. You don't want a backlash? Nope. <laughs> I hate backlashes. <laughs> He's coming with it now. Oh, bottom back. Not very big, whatever it is. Pickerel or pike? Your call. You think this is a bigger perch than mine? <laughs> <laughs> big perch. Oh, nice pike. Might be an eater, Donnie. Oh, it might be, yeah. What classifies an eater pike? Five pounds. Five. Worth putting a knife into. Yeah, I don't know if he goes five, but... Oh, get him. I pull the hook out. <laughs> Good release. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he what big enough to eat? Get a couple of fillets off him. Most of the time when that happens, you can go arm deep after him. Right? That that might have been the easiest. <laughs> what do you think? You, <laughs> you be the judge. Yeah, let's eat him. Well, okay. You can even get your bait back. Yeah, we can definitely get the bait yeah. back. It was alive. Nice. <laughs> what are we going to do with it? We're going to fillet it. Fillet it? Yeah. Yep. I've heard boiling them so good. We watched yeah. a video yesterday on how to fillet these things. Because mm -hmm. they got that Y bone or whatever they right. call it. Why? What do you think he is for poundage? Uh, Four? Three? He would be close to 4.3. I like it. And he's probably 32 inches. <laughs> 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 no, he isn't 32 inches long. <laughs> he is four, though? 4.3. <coughs> he's a pretty one. He's dark. Oh yeah, he's four. Pretty damn close. You're getting good at this. 4.91. Okay, so almost five almost pounds. Five, yeah. But if we take that shiner back, he might be 4.3. Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> the pike just started rattling around in the sled and it reminded me we were fishing a derby at Wasakeg. And Wasakeg's like really competitive. There's a ton of people and it's a pretty small lake. So you want to kind of keep it a secret how you're doing and stuff. And it was like my second set in the morning. You couldn't set before a light back then. So we had to wait, we're watching, had the holes drilled and everything. And second set, I'm setting, and I get like an eight pound pike, I mean an eight pound lake trout. And it was in the derby. So once you keep one, you're done. So I ended up keeping it. A couple guys come over and like a half hour later, and they're like, how you guys doing? You catching any? And I'm like, no, ain't caught a thing yet. No flags. <laughs> And that thing is just beating itself to death <laughs> in the sled. And it's that sound, too, that you just, oh. it's unmistakable. It's beating, they're like, no, nothing, huh? And nothing. I'm like, no, nothing. nothing yeah, to nothing to see here. <laughs> Sometimes as fishermen, I guess oh. you're permitted a lie or two. Yeah, so how'd you end up in the derby with that? Well, since you're only allowed one, I kept it, and I was done one right. minute, two minutes into the tournament. Yeah. So I said, is there anything else in this lake to catch? And they said... They said there once was brook trout in here years ago, and they had it as a division. So I moved all my traps way in the shore, yeah. from far from where we were fishing, and I caught a friggin' brook trout. Oh, no kidding! Yeah, and I took first place in brook trout, second place in lake trout. Oh wow! Yeah, nice. And they don't stock them there? Uh, they stopped stocking them, so it was like a holdover. Yeah, it was the only brook trout weighed in. Wow. It was 12 inches. You yeah. know, it, was, it wasn't even big. Yeah. Oh man, I hope he bites. I hope he bites yours. I got a little one. John, you have, have you ever eaten them? No. Oh, you want to try them? I mean, that's not bad. And this oh. was half the size of the one that's on him right now. I've eaten a lot of white perch. I you hear like these. I hear they're better. Yes or no? What do you think? Your call. You can get a knife into them. There's enough down there. We ain't gonna hurt them. Eat it. Eat it. Yes! Oh, yeah! That's All right. a good one. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir! Oh, that's a beauty. I think... Is that one big enough for you, Donnie? Yeah. That <laughs> one's got some shoulders. 
Yeah, I think you ought to try them. Oh, shoot. Might keep. Might keep? He might keep for you. It's going to be close. You're going to have to look at him twice. Keep up. Uh, I mean, we've kept some that size. Everything's a keeper right now. No I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Seagull had one, serves me right. I know a I know it. That's the hook. That's the hook. Oh, that's funny. It looks up to me. It's going 100 miles an hour. This is a high trap. That is. This is your. Looks like it's just barely tripped. This is your eight trap. And it didn't spin lifting it up. Oh, there you go. He's on. Yes? Yep. Five? Oh, he's a oh he's a good one. Wow. Thanks. So the source of the camera. Oh. Boy, he's coming with it. Oh, they like that. Did he stop you? No, oh, he's probably better off leave that line alone. Bottom bottom mark. He tugged pretty good when I set the hook. He, this is when they might make a big run. Oh, it's big. It's big. You got a giant? Uh, all I saw was the width. I wouldn't call it a giant. I saw the width. It looked wide. Maybe I, maybe I um, confused my width and my length though. I don't know. <laughs> which one is it? Which is it the two hashes or the one hash? Or? 32 inches long. 32 inches 32. long. 32. 12.87 pounds, or 19. Oh, jeez. He don't even want to give us a look. It's big. This is this will be your new PB if we can get oh it up. Oh my God, yeah, he is can you hold big. It? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. Donnie. Nice one. Wow. Look at the gut on that. Wow. Yeah, Donnie. I think this might top 10. Yep. That's a big one. Wow. Right. He is. 36. There you go. Thank you, Donnie. Wow. Yeah, he's deep. Yeah, I saw the width of him, and I'm like, that's a fat fish. Yeah. <laughs> Look how fat he is. Bingo. You got it. Wow. That sucker is more 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> He's over 10? Yeah. New PB, Donnie? I think so. Got it? Yep. Oh, yeah. 11.52. Wow. 11.52. Wow. What a. What Hold a that fish. baby up for a picture. Actually, I'll get in here too. Look how fat sucker is. Look at that. Oh, we didn't measure it, did we? 32. Did you guys measure it? No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you think those two mouth spreaders weigh? Oh my god. 33. 33. <laughs> yeah. oh. We're going to recycle a big smile here, guys. We're letting this 12, what did we say, 1151 go. I don't think they weigh much. We could weigh those. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Let go of that. Just put your finger in there. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not bad. There you go. You want me to get them? Yep. All right. Guys, this is how we recycle smiles in Maine. My buddy David Dudley taught me that one. And then you get them down there, and it's so easy, you just let it go and say, see you later, big gator. And watch this. Oh, he got me wet. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice fish. Donnie. 
New PB. Yeah, all right. 11 5 1. Nice. Pretty awesome. That was a good fight, too. Yeah. I think 33 inches. I know. Fat, fat, wicked fat. Oh, we didn't go around him, but I, I got to believe he was 17. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Regional NBC was there filming, and yeah. then they sent it out to like the, your area. Yeah. So like they they sent the footage to the, you know, Channel Six News and right. whatever. Yeah. It, it Jumbo, made. Jumbo liar. So yeah, there was quite. I mean, it was right in the dead of summer, so I don't know as it did a whole lot for me, but yeah. The road waiting. I don't know what I was waiting for. But we got some coming now. Candace was still. Jumbo. He ate that pretty quick. Yep. Candace was still sitting in the White House with all her stuff. Oh, Jumbo. And she calls me. She goes, where are you? And I was like, I'm just sitting here waiting for Secret Service. Meanwhile, she's sitting there with the Secret Service guy. Yeah. And she goes, everybody's gone. I'm the only one here, and they want to get me out. And I was wow. like, well, there's nothing I can do. I was like, I'm waiting on them. Right. And the, she said, after she got off the phone, the guy got on his walkie-talkie and he goes, I don't care what you gotta do, get that kid in here right now. <laughs> they came in, they called me in. It was like, they barely checked my truck. In I went. Oh, he's gonna eat. Boom. Got him. Oh, I missed him. Missed him. What is going on? Well, can't blame it on the jig that time. Ready? Three, two, all over you. one. Got him. She's got pictures of her. So this Whoa, room. Look at that jumbo. This room yeah. they were in, they cleaned it all out. By the time I got in there, there weren't nothing in it. And there's just some woman sitting there vacuuming. And Candace wow. sitting in the middle of it on a chair with a secret service guy standing next to her. Wow. And she's got a picture of her and there's this. Oh, you got a good one on you. Big that of a boy, there's oh, wow. jumbo. That is a good there's one. There's a, oh, oh, come on. No! Oh! What's wrong with this thing? How are we gonna eat tonight? <laughs> and uh. She's Maybe you should just stick to trap fishing. Yeah, I'm better at that. Well, guys, we've had so much action. We come in to get something to eat. Donnie's donuts were awesome this morning, but we need to drive a little bit more into us. So guess what we're having? We are going high class today. We're going to have lobster for lunch. Straight out of the city of Lewiston. We're having Lewiston lobsters. <laughs> there they How are. How do you like the looks of those? Wrapped in bacon on top of baked beans with relish on top of that. So that's gonna be a mean one. Yeah, rolls are gonna be pretty full. <laughs> <laughs> they might need some bigger rolls. <laughs> that's like a 400 pound Canadian and a Speedo in, at Old Orchard Beach in the summer. Oh. I don't know if I've ever had bacon on a hot dog. <laughs> Butter that bacon. <laughs> bacon that sausage. Go. Rolls are done to perfection, <laughs> <laughs> just like my just like my mother always did. <laughs> I love you, mom. If you're watching this, rolls are done just like my mom used to make them. Dig in. You want to you want to slide of beans on that? Yep. Huh? Well, piece of bacon, no beans. Bacon, no beans. What are you trying, Sean? I have it all. Load it right up. I'll get out of your way because the beans are over here. I don't have an extra hand or I'd help you. I think I got a pretty good idea to put it with the rest of the stuff. It'll be hard enough. Yeah, you're going to max out that roll. I know. It's falling apart before I even put anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need a beard to keep that from hitting your shirt. There's relish too somewhere. You want some of these pickles? Sure. Look at that thing. Dude, rolls got perfect crunch. Really? Good. <laughs> Look at that thing, fellas. Would you drive one of them into you? I would. Looks pretty tasty. Really good. Mm hmm. Well, you can just keep it from. Oh, what are we going to name it? The Lewis and Lobster Deluxe? Sounds good. I like it's it. Definitely Deluxe.
loaded loaded dog from the Lewiston Lobster Company. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Loaded dog from the Lewiston Lobster Company. <laughs> <laughs> We're bigger than Davy Crockett. First taste of okra ever. It's like uh kind of like a Brussels sprout. Really? For real, not quite. It's like a Brussels sprout with a green bean and then never called it for like a month after. And the green bean was like, what happened? Do you lose my number? <laughs> and the Brussels sprout was like, nah, I'm all right. I call it more. <laughs> <laughs> more, more Brussels sprout than green bean. Do you like Brussels sprouts? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie spit out his coffee. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. No, it's better. It's better than a Brussels sprout, though. Oh, yeah, I can't handle Brussels sprouts. Donnie's going. Or Sean, whoever. Sean, take get it. it. Take it. Get it. Yo, take it, Sean. Take, take it. it. There's another one up over there, Donnie. Yeah. Both extra tall Roberts are sky high. Looks like he got into the line. Feels decent. Feels decent. Feels decent. It's a keeper. I like the sound of that. This is going to be a good one. Oh, this is. Look at it. Yeah. Is it yellow perch? Big perch. <laughs> State is, record. Is it Chubbs in here? Chubbs is working today. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah? He's yeah. pulling hard. We haven't come to the band yet. Yeah. Oh. oh, you have? No. Look at that. Look at the spool, guys. When you need it, just let me know. Not letting me get him very far. Really? Wow. Hope he's not wrapped. You. Oh, there's the band. There's the band. He moved. All right. I'm going to leave that like that. Hope you land this thing. Doesn't like that hole much. Mm. I put it up in the air, guys, so it can free spool for him. Definitely. Definitely feels bigger than that other one. Yeah. You got you're tied into something here, bud. We may have to drill another hole beside this one to get him up close. That would not be the worst. Oh, we're here. He's big. He's in the 10 range. Didn't look like he had a giant head, but I didn't see his body. He, he looked like he was in the 10 range. I think this was wire. Can I give you that? Got it? A lot of times you got to hit reverse to get their head to back up for their snout. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Nice. Nice one, bud. He's a seven, eight, eight pounder. Oh, let me set him down here so you don't get hurt. I keep doing that. You got him? Watch that thumb. Watch that thumb. Here, hold on. Let me set him down for you. Oh, right in his eyeball. How's that feel, dude? Nice. Good one, Sean. All right. I'll get my catch ball. What a yeah. fight, huh? Yeah, he fought more than he looks. Yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> he fought like a big, big, big fish. Little big gator. Nice, good job, buddy. Great. Wicked slimed up. Keep her running, buddy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now you're good. <laughs> Over at you. Look like anything. Yeah, it's oh way, yeah, it's way off the side. You're gonna have to hit him real hard if he's way out. Feel anything? I don't feel a thing. I'd go fast and hit it hard the second you feel anything. There's a lot of line done. There's nothing. Keep coming, he might have circled back. Wow. Thing made a run, didn't it? Now it's a little resistant. There you go. You got him? You got him. You got him. Any size? Uh, doesn't. Oh! 
<laughs> now? Any size now? Uh, not too big. Okay. No, not too big. Oh, you're at your bottom mark. Not fighting much. Oh. Oh, nice one. Yeah, it's a good one. Is it? Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> oh, Sean. Sean's got it going. He's, uh, he's between six and... He's between five and twenty. <laughs> six and eight. <clears throat> there you go. Nice. Oh, my God. Look how fat he is. Yeah, it's not too Jeez. bad. I bet you he's 32 inches I long. He is. I'm over oh. here like, no, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh. The good Dicky too. little thing. Then Donnie's like, eh, it's pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> Way bigger than the one I just caught. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same length that we've shown. I got a measure. I know it's 32, but... Isn't that the weirdest thing? Is that how they stop them? Yeah, they oh, go a little more. Right there. 30 and a half. Oh, they must have put a shorter one in here. Yeah, shorty. Is that how they stopped them? <laughs> you realize how many comments <laughs> that's going to get? You're, you're like me. You're freaking not afraid to chirp. Do a little chirp, chirp trolling. <laughs> Is that how they stopped them? He said. I freaking love it. I'm going to use that from now on. Seven and a half? Seven and seven, a half. Seven, seven, seven sixty-five. Nice. Sean, you want, oh. you want to take it home for... No, I'm good. Eating? Thank you, though. All right. Let's release them. Okay, big boy. Recycled. Go a little bigger. Recycled smiles. See you later, big gator. Slapper. <laughs> Great. Oh, super. What's going on? Oh, my drag was open. This one seems like a jumbo, doesn't he? Yeah, it like it's got some size. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a crappie. A oh, crappie? Not a bad crappie. Wow. Look at that one, huh? Yeah. He came in like a patch. Well, I guess you gotta catch a crappy every once in a while when you're jigging perch. God, he's all over it. That's what he did to mine. Got him! <laughs> he's not that big. Got him! Oh, geez, maybe he's an eater. Yeah, he's an eater. You guys, it's uh, mid afternoon. And we're getting, we're gonna pack her up. We got some rain coming of all things. Can you believe it? Rain coming. Rain's no good when you're ice fishing. So we're going to tear down camp and see if we can get out of here before the rain happens. And that'll be the end of this trip. We'll, uh, we'll walk you through the process. The ones I had be different, I like better. Yep. I'll set this baby right here. Huh. Now the part you have been waiting for. That's a load right there, guys. The Sean brought so much stuff, it's really making a big load. You know, Donnie and I didn't bring much. Yeah, I showed up now. Yeah, now, now we're in trouble. Too much stuff. Yeah, because Donnie and I wouldn't bring too you much stuff. Prepare for a day of fishing. Yep. Alright guys, we made it out. It was it was a little bit of a challenge getting all that gear out and loaded into the trailer was the hardest part all at once. Just drove her on there, it was hard. 
um, we got quite a bit of rain on the way out. It's raining really hard now. We're hoping it doesn't turn to freezing rain on the roads. But no problems getting out of there. We still got a little bit of daylight to drive home. Got a pretty good drive home. And yeah, all in all for me, it was a phenomenal trip. Get to see Donnie catch a couple double digits and uh, at least 12 pike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and let's see, nine, in on 12, yeah, Yep, 12. and then having a 80-year-old out there doing stuff that a lot of people think is really hard, the winter camping, and sometimes I think it's a little hard, you know, yeah. and watching an 80-year-old just tear it apart like that and do all that cooking and fishing and ev it. everything every day and loving it, waking up with a smile every day really, really motivates me and inspires me just to go harder and harder because i could always say well if donnie can do it at 80 i can do it too <laughs> so wow. so that's it from me guys i had a phenomenal trip thanks for tuning in but i'm going to turn you over to, Don to donnie for our outro for the whole series because i think he darn well earned it so donnie tell him what you think and oh my gosh this has uh, been an experience that uh i thought i'd never have you know catching these big fish like this you know 11 and a half pounds is the biggest uh, we had two that were over 10 pounds, the rest were eight, seven, six, five. So that was great. But you know, when you go on these camping trips, when you're an old guy, you always want to bring a young guy with you. <laughs> <laughs> because because <laughs> there's a lot of things that I used to do that I can't do now, you know, strength wise. and. Uh, and to have a young guy along is uh, uh, certainly an asset. So I had a great time, great uh, four days, and uh, the weather cooperated. You know, it was very, really mild compared to of last weekend, and uh, so it was all, all in all, wonderful. I hope uh, you know some of you people out there can experience the same, uh, same thing that we have. Okay, I'll hand it back to Joey. That's it. You tell him. You tell him. All right. Him. Say uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. yeah. See you tomorrow or the next one. All right. Over and out. <laughs>